Dime Dropper fam, what's going on? Vlog number 11, I believe, on the season. And this one is the first game after the All-Star break. It's a Friday night against the Sacramento Kings. It's our third game against them this season. Kawhi actually hasn't played them at all this season. We're one and one against them. The last time I saw the Kings live was last year when Paul George was rested and we just got absolutely smacked. Tonight, it's a huge game. They're third in the West and we are fourth. Huge must win in my opinion. And guess what? The biggest deal of all. Former MVP Russell Westbrook is making his Clipper debut tonight. It is going to be surreal. One of my favorite players of all time playing for the Clips. So much pressure. So much pressure on everybody involved. Let's see how it goes. I can't believe it. I, I'm so excited. I haven't been excited for a game this entire season in a long time. Cue the music. Go Clippers. Terrence Mann not starting makes me disappointed, but hopefully he still plays a lot. Music. Jackson on the drive, kicks it out for Man. Man three-pointer, bang! Oh, what a man! Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12, good! Here's Michael at the foul line, a shot on Elo, good! The Bulls win! They win it! Now that's a steal by Murr. Underneath the DJ, right Going up over Bell, fall away! Yes! 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 At the buzzer, he, he does it! Was there ever a doubt? Yeah. Yeah. A Smith screen. At that Kings game that we got smacked last season was my boy A Cheesy. You might recognize him from a couple of the vlogs. Cheesy, obviously this is your year six as a Clipper fan. We just got Russ. You're not a huge fan of his. What are your thoughts tonight? Man, I don't know. I just want to come out and see Clipper dub. Uh, hopefully Russ plays well and hopefully the team you know, meshes and clicks. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful night tonight. Is it? It's rainy as hell out. Shit, if it's Clipper W, it's a beautiful night. That's right. Damn right. All right, I'm here with Russ's cousin Cecil. How you feeling, man? First game as a Clipper for your boy. Uh, it's good, man. It's, 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 we're still home. I'll say it like that. We're still home. Uh, first game, first of many. We'll see what happens, but he's in a good space. And uh, hey, go Clips. As know? a Laker fan, are, are you a Clipper fan now until Russ is, uh, as long yes, as Russ is here? 100%. Oh, man. <laughs> a win today? Yeah, it's going to be a win. It's going to be a win. There we go. There he is. Russell Westbrook, LA Clipper. I can't believe it. A lot of more Kings fans in the building than I'm used to seeing. It's going to be a sellout tonight. I can feel it. Energy is great. Uh, 
Yep. Defense! Defense! Okay. Defense! 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 Yeah! Defense! Uh, oh, Mason. Oh, shit. Yeah! Well, hey, hey we'll take it. it, we'll take, take it. it. Yeah! 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 yeah. First masculine quiver at the line. Yeah! Wow. I haven't heard of this loud to start a game Defense. in a while. Defense! Oh, really? Now he hits him? Kevin Herter. We had like eight points in the three point contest. Oh, yes, as a screener. That's, yes! That's one screen. And he got a good look! Oh, I love that! Oh! There we Try All the way. Yes, look at that fast pace. Yeah! Hockey assist. We'll take that one, zero. I love that. I love it. I told you to go, Darren. Okay, that's okay. Nuts. Don't chill, chill. Yes. Why'd he close out? Good pass. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Decent first quarter, a lot of offense. Both teams hitting from three, especially the Kings. Kawhi's got 11. Russ played well. Loudest first quarter of any game I've been to this season. We'll take that. Uh oh. Way to run him off the line. Good help, Kawhi. Wow. Trey Lyles. Foul number two. Oh, oh my good. God. What a pass. Oh! What a pass. Nico can't even believe it. He couldn't even believe it. Oh my God. Loving the pace that Russ is bringing to the team right now. He's got four assists, a couple of hockey assists, screening, sticking on defense. Looking great so far. Loving the shooters. Defense! 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 Ah, oh, Sabonis is destroying our small ball lineup. With Mason on the bench, it's very hard with no zoo. He's got 12 and 7 already, just like that. He just had four points a second ago. Uh... 11 0 run. When Mason Plumley's out, Sabonis is in. Without Zoo, that's problems. Great ball, bro. Good pass, Come on, bro. Baby. in the face, creating shots for his teammates. Oh, Russ with five points created in the last 30 seconds. This is a third quarter score. Oh my goodness. Not much defense being played here tonight. Honestly, now that we have Russ, I'm so over Paul George high ball speed. <laughs> Has to have. Russ got a cut. Oh, wide open, baby. Oh. Good job. Good deed. Great half. We'll take that. Good half. Good half. Good job, guys. Great half by Mason. 16 points for Norm. Him and Kawhi leading the way. Russ creating a ton of good shots. Good job, Russ!
Halftime, 80 to 76. Jaden, what are your thoughts so far? Going pretty good so far. I what, think we'll make it. I think we'll, we'll win. Yeah. What do you think about Russ? Any thoughts about Russ? Um, before the last two minutes, I was given a beat. In the last two minutes of the half, before half, he went from a beat to an eight to a six to a six. There we go. And I'm impressed with that. Ah! Russ, so far thoughts? I'm pretty good. Like Pretty good? I like it. There we go. All right, two of my most loyal subscribers from the stars, Spence and Steel Clips. Thoughts on Russ so far? Steel Clips, you go first. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving his energy, man. I hope it's infectious to the whole team, man. I love it. Much better than Reggie? Huh? Oh, Much man. Stop it. No question. Spence, you? Hey, listen. I said it before. I'll say it again. Westbrook stand. West side in the building. You're a Clipper fan good. though. You're not a Westbrook stand. Hey. You're a Clipper fan of the deadly hey. shit. Hey. hey, all the subscribers, yes, I'm on the video again. And like I said, our big man, our team, and Westbrook, Plumlee. he's taking us to the title. Let's go. God with us or collide with us. That's what's up. That's Lawler's Law, midway through the third. Russ already has 10 assists. Kawhi Leonard, 29. They cannot Ooh. guard him at all, and he's making all his threes. PG's made five threes, and that's it for field goals. And we got Mason on double-double watch. Franchise record like 153. 
For points? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's like not that far away. 24 for P, 38 for Kawhi. Clippers on the verge of a collapse. Paul George with two live ball turnovers. And just like that, it's a one point game. And Russ is there to close. What could go wrong? That's free throws. That's free throws, thank God. You gotta go to Kauai. They're doubling up Norman Powell. Yikes. Shoot at the end of games. Kawhi's got to go get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Airball. 
Gonna need some heroics. Six seconds. Oh my god, come on, Kawhi. Turn and go. Oh man, how can you even summarize that? The second best regular season game I've ever been to after the other double overtime game I went to, which Ron Artest elbowed James Harden in the temple. That was pretty crazy, man. Uh, I mean, what, second highest scoring game ever? Our offense was actually amazing. Such great energy in the building tonight. Loudest game of the season in terms of home games that I've been to this year. Um, our offense was so good. Russ was, I thought he was awesome, honestly. I mean, yeah, he came with his flaws at the end of the game. His turnovers, man, they really don't tell the full story to me. A couple of those were mo like moving screens in the first half. It's like, look, we're trying new things. I would he's if he's setting screens and trying to do that, that's a positive. If he gets turnovers dead ball in the middle of the second quarter, that's not that killer. You know, the one where he tried to throw the entry pass to Mason Plumley was pretty bad. And then the biggest thing that I'd have to fault Russ is the blown rotation, the you know, falling asleep on defense in the last possession of regulation. But why is Russell Westbrook and Norman Powell in the game on the last possession of regulation to guard? Terrence Mann again. I mean, motherfuckers are trying to tell me that Terrence Mann's going to still play 30 minutes now. You, you serious? Do you not know Ty Lue at this point? Come on, man. I'm not saying that even cost us the game per se, but Marcus Morris, uh, I mean, so much worse than the other players we have. Um, I thought everybody, I mean, Kawhi, I thought second half played better defense, but I thought most people had poor defensive games one-on-one. -on -one. I think if you really got to look at a reason we lost, we couldn't stay in front of the ball. We couldn't guard one-on-one. -on -one. Norman Powell had a bad defensive game. Eric Gordon was nothing defensively like the Phoenix game. He was blown by several times too easily. Paul George had some good and bad defensive moments. I thought Russ was better than I expected on defense, actually. Um, but the main thing that really pissed me off were the turnovers too late. Mason Plumley, those two were really costly, and I actually thought he had a really good game. And then Paul George's were the most infuriating of all. Two live ball turnovers in the fourth quarter that resulted in four straight points. We had the game won, and after that happened, it changed the entire momentum, not to mention he missed two free throws. Yeah, Nico Batum got the putback, but Paul, if he had just made the first free throw, we would have won the game. So... Again, I still don't think Russ should really close during playoffs, even though he did a lot of good things. But it's just an, it's such a heartbreaking loss because I don't know if we're going to get the three seed now, and that could be the death of us. Back home now, not going to lie, I've had some time to process that. That was insane. I just went to the second highest scoring game in the history of the NBA. Even in the 60s, when they scored 120, 130 points so often because the pace was so high, the second highest scoring game in NBA history. And it was on Dime Dropper Vlog. I just basically got the whole, like, that was amazing. This has got to be one of the best vlogs I've ever made. Let me know in the comments, man. Did y'all enjoy this? I tried my best. I mean, we lost, but I still have to be, take a moment. I'm really pissed still. But I got to take a moment to acknowledge how cool of a game that was to be at. I mean, that was some Doug Moe Nuggets shit. If you don't know who Doug Moe is, look him up. But the Denver Nuggets with Doug Moe were the team that scored so many fucking points in the 80s alongside Showtime. And they're the only team. They played the Pistons when they had the most points in NBA history. So I was at a sec at the second one. That's crazy, but terrible loss. And by the way, there's been a lot of talk about the last play of the game. I watched it back. I don't think it was really Russ's fault. There is an argument to be made that he kind of stood still before a real screen was set by Harrison Barnes off the ball. But at the end of the day, basic one basketball 101, if you're up by three points and it's the last possession of a game, you do not leave a three-point shooter. More, Norman Powell came and helped for no reason. You can't rely on rota rotations to save you at that point. That's foolish basketball. Not the only reason we lost, but definitely the most frustrating. Good night. Like, subscribe, and comment.